You thought I was going to explain how you can become a god in this week's video? Well, you are in luck, because today I will be making a scratch tutorial. You see, I learned scratch when I was a baby, and since then I've been too lazy to learn a better programming language. But today, I will be making a wireframe generator for any dimension. Anyways, the first thing I did was use the code from this project and condense the 16 sprites into clones and converted all the variables into list items. This way, I wouldn't have to duplicate the sprites and variables thousands of times in order to switch to higher dimensions. I also did this to the controls. Then, I added a hypercube generator. I did this by adding alternating coordinates from 1 to minus 1, with x alternating every time, y alternating every 2 times, z alternating every 4 times, and so on. Also, I got rid of the feature where the inner cube is 2 times smaller, because true tesseracts all have equal cubes. I then made all the clones report their x and y coordinates into another list where the main sprite would then draw a line in all of the coordinates. I then realized that this was a fatal mistake, since the points were not connected properly. So I made the main sprite have to go to each vertex in each top face and draw a line to the bottom. Then go to each vertex in one side of each cube and draw a line to the other side, and the same for the other sides. And for only dimensions 4 or higher, I made the main sprite connect each vertex on each cube to the opposite vertex on the other cube. Also the reason why I didn't just use repeat is because Scratch always puts a delay before each iteration of the repeat, which drastically slows down the performance. I then tried to test it out with 16 dimensions, and I realized that it would require 32,768 points, and since each point has 16 dimensions, it would require over 5 million values. Since Scratch's lists have a limit of 200,000 values, I had to put a limit on the number of dimensions. And also, the code I used stops rendering the hypercube properly after 4 dimensions, and because there are no tutorials on 5 dimensional cubes, I could not get it to work. So I had to make the cubes different sizes again, because it would at least look like all cubes were moving. Remember what I said about this being a wireframe generator for anything, not just a hypercube wireframe? Well, sadly I have run out of time for this video so I might have to make a part 2. Anyways, the link is in the description if you want to see it. See you in next week's video, and bye.